when patients communicate with me, they often try to describe which tooth they have a concern about and they have a hard time describing, you know, it's the one next to this one or they get confused right or left. So I thought I would just put up a simple graphic that shows the tooth numbering system that we use in orthodontics um, and actually in general dentistry more so. So basically um, you start from the upper right. Tooth number one is the wisdom tooth. This patient does not have the wisdom tooth. And then you go across two, three, four, five, eight is the tooth that is your right central incisor. It can be confusing looking at the screen. This is the patient's right, like they're looking out at us. It goes across to 15, down to 18. Again, 16 would be the upper left wisdom tooth. Um, now, uh, interesting fact, even dentists don't know this sometimes, that if you add uh, a tooth to its opposing tooth on the bottom, you get 33 each time. Uh, but the system that you also could use um, that is not depicted here, that is called Palmer, Palmer notation that orthodontists usually use, would be this is the upper right quadrant, this is the upper left quadrant, this is the lower left quadrant, and this is the lower right quadrant. And instead you count the one as from the middle and you count going backwards. So this is the upper right for upper right quadrant one, upper right two, upper right three, upper left one. This would be the upper left four, one, two, three, four. Uh, and to take it one step further, the international system uses that Palmer notation, but if they, instead of saying upper right one, they say one, one, or they say two, one, this quadrant being two, this quadrant is three, this quadrant is number four. Now take out your pens and pencils. Are you ready for the final exam on this?